Well, I'm back on a, another issue. Uh, I kind of touched base a little here and there on it. Uh, kind of mixed in with other things, but uh, maybe you guys help answer these questions here. Um, why is it these companies are hiring people who have no business being in a truck these days? I mean, it's gotten so out of hand that it's ridiculous. I mean, there's not a day that goes by I don't see some of the stupidest crap out here from inexperienced, uh, improperly trained uh, drivers out here that's going to get somebody hurt or killed. Uh, today, even, uh, going down the road, what's we're going to get a driver just parked on the side of the shoulder. I'm pulling oversize, just sitting there on the shoulder, no flashing lights, no, fla no haz hazards, no uh, nothing. I mean, no trying, nothing. He's just sitting there, playing on his phone, on the shoulder, you know, right up ahead of him. What, truck stop, rest area? Does he go there? No, just pulls over. And it's getting to where, where are they finding these people? I mean, are they actually going into these places where people have no common sense, places where um, these people have never drove anything more than a bicycle, and then they throw them behind the wheel of a truck, because oh, we got a shortage of truck drivers, which personally I don't think there is. I'm thinking, you know, the freight's matching up. You know, companies want to expand, but they don't have nothing to expand with. Or well, we're going to pay top dollar and all those deals, but yet they don't have the freight to keep the trucks rolling. I mean, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, I'm just kind of agitated. And then there was talk, well, we want to have 18-year-olds get in these trucks and drive them up and down the highway. Let me get this right. We want to get 18 to 21 year olds out here on the highways, running up and down the highway, making major decisions, and trying to manipulate these large rigs, trying to make, you know, do what's got to be done. I mean, some of this isn't something that's just on the whim that we do out here. You know, it takes more than common sense, which people don't even have anymore. These are the same kids that were doing what? Eating Tide Pods? These are the same ones we got to put warning labels on batteries saying don't drink the battery acid? Come on, really? You want to put these people in these trucks to go up and down the road? Are you kidding me? You got to let them grow up and get a little bit more mature to drive these trucks. You know, granted, you do have the few, maybe raised on a farm or somewhere where they've been around trucks, they've been around this, they were raised differently to have a little more respect for what they're doing, what they're driving. These people don't give a shit about what they're driving. They don't give a shit how they treat it, mistreat this shit just to the extreme. You know, they're putting, these guys can't even back the trucks up, but yet they're out here on the highway running up and down the road. I mean, what's going on? <laughs> I, I just, it's beyond me what these companies are putting behind the wheel. I mean, they're wanting to shoot them out there, get them through the school, go for a trainer for a couple of weeks, out on the road you go. They have no idea what they're doing. I mean, I got a truck right now that the fender's been damaged. It hit my fender. Oh, my truck cracked my fiberglass hood. They hit my front wheel. Run all down the side of my damn trailer back here. Four times they hit it. I mean, these are what we want driving the trucks nowadays people getting injured, people getting killed, more and more truck wrecks one right after another. I mean, it, something's got to be done. We got to get something in here that's getting these people and some more training, a little bit more um, know-how before they turn them loose out here on this into the real world. You know, this ain't no goddamn video game. What she said, oh, I drove a truck on a video. No, it ain't no damn video game here. You got to make real decisions in real time, you know, and it's, just, it's not an easy task. Granted, everybody starts somewhere, but you need the proper training before you turn them out because if you turn them out and they can't even back into a parking spot or a parking hole or a dock or you no know, right from wrong, left from right, and come into exits the wrong way, you've turned these people loose and barely pushed them through school, this is a dangerous game these companies are playing. And my opinion is something needs to be done. Uh, somebody needs to be held accountable for this stuff because it's getting out of hand.